Mm-hmm. My headroom. We don't have sound here. I'm this recording area, here. This one? Yeah. So introduce Can yourself. You get a little lower. Okay. <laughs> Ready? My name is Eric Messerschmidt and I'm a cinematographer. The Komodo is the most exciting new camera to hit the market since the Red One. I've been trying to get the camera to break, basically. I've been pushing it hard. I took the camera out, we shot a, some tests, a, a little music video a couple weeks ago, up above Los Angeles in the hills on a 50 millimeter Canon 1.2 available light, night exterior. And it performed amazingly. The, the noise floor is extremely low. The color fidelity is fantastic, it's e even when it's underexposed. It's incredibly sharp. And it utilizes all of the autofocus technology that we're used to with still lenses. So in that particular instance, I was able to follow this musician around uh, by myself, touching the touch screen with my finger and, getting, and, and keeping the shot in focus, which is like incredible, you know, especially for run and gun filmmaking, documentary filmmaking. Anytime you have the camera by yourself and being able to uh, be a self-contained unit, the operator with the camera, with the talent. Its size is groundbreaking. It's like the size of a Rubik's cube. I mean, the whole thing is like this big, which opens up a whole number of, of new opportunities for us as cinematographers. We are always struggling to put cameras where we want them, especially in practical locations. I'm prepping a movie right now. We have, we have to put a camera in a vintage fighter cockpit. We want to mount the camera to the wings of this plane. There are no other cameras on the market where we could do this. We're, we're going to literally bolt the camera to the side of an airplane wing. That's revolutionary. You know, we used to be able to put an IMO or whatever, or a, a GoPro, uh, but we never had the quality that we have here. We, don't have, we never had the dynamic range. We didn't have the lens flexibility that we have. You know, we can put it underneath a car for a crash if we have to on a major motion picture and not really sweat it. You could skydive with it. It's probably the ultimate drone, drone camera. It's, it, this would be a lightweight package for your modern heavy lifting drone and you'd still be able to record in 6K with the lenses you want to shoot with. Now we have all these added innovations that we've been looking for in small cameras like global shutter. All of the wireless control built in uh, using, using the RED Control app. There used to be huge disparities in quality based on price and only the highest level productions could afford high resolution, high color fidelity cameras. Uh, Komodo breaks that. Now, if you're on a independent documentary, you know, a one man, one woman band out shooting somebody, you have the same power in your, in your pocket uh, that someone on a major motion picture has from an image making standpoint. And that's an incredible step forward. It's all the power of, of your, your full size red sensor, um, but it's the size of a Rubik's cube. It's so cool. There's no other camera on the market that is global shutter, this size and this versatile. You can put it on a gimbal, you can handhold it easily, you can outfit it as a studio camera, uh, you can bury it as a crash cam, you could throw it like a football, you could drop it off a building, you can, you know, we can do so much with the camera because of its size. And yet there are no quality compromises. It's still 6K, very low compression, shoots in raw, in red code, R3D. Same color science we're used to, 16-bit recording, log output if you want it, 4K output if you want it. It's, I, it's a huge step forward for, for the cinematography community and, and for, um, for filmmaking in general.